So this has been a long time coming and we're finally doing it. It has just been so busy the past few months and I haven't really just gotten the time to actually sit down and do this, but I'm finally building my AR today. So I moved to North Carolina in February this year and still have not changed my license yet, but I did get my lower when I was in Tennessee. And so the lower is the only thing that you need to register all of the other parts uh, you can just order. So I have the lower and then I ordered the rest of the parts to uh, where I live in North Carolina and I'm currently going to my gun guy right now and he's gonna show me how to build it. So I can't show you how it's built because of course YouTube won't allow that, but I will show you the parts and what I ordered and you know, give you a breakdown of what my AR is going to look like and show you all of that. I just can't show you the actual putting together of the AR. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we finally built the AR-15 and I couldn't show it to you guys on YouTube as you already know, but I'm going to tell you about the parts that I ordered and I only ordered two pieces actually, so nothing is extremely customized. Yeah, I want to change the trigger and add a red dot or change the sights on there. So I'm still working on that, but I at least just wanted to have the AR built for the most part. And this is very basic. And so the total price tag on what I did for this gun is under a thousand dollars. So you can make a good build for an AR-15 to just get started for under a thousand dollars. And then, you know, as you are going, you know, going training and getting better, you can change pieces on that to just make it better and actually custom Customize it. So I actually got the Aero Precision Lower. Okay, so this is the Aero Precision Air 15 Stripped Lower Receiver. So as I said, this is the only part that you need to actually register. So I moved and that is the one that I got in Tennessee. And then I just planned on building the rest and ordering the rest of the parts. And so the next thing that I ordered, which does not require uh, any registration, is the PSA Air 15 Rifle Kit. And this is a 16 inch nitride 17 mid length, uh, 13 and a half inch. So this came with everything else and you actually have to build the trigger with the springs. So in total, this probably took like less than 30 minutes to build. The only tricky thing was actually doing the trigger because you actually have to pull the strings and other triggers are easier to assemble. So you could easily skip the difficult part and upgrade your trigger just right off the bat. But that was the only tedious part of building this. Um, and the rest was pretty seamless. So it's relatively easy to do um yeah so this is my air build for right now and some things that i obviously just plan on cha changing pretty soon here is the sights and then the trigger and then we'll see going forward so overall i like the weight of this it's not very heavy and i feel like it'll be great for tactical we ended up changing the handle to something a little bit more small uh, that just fits my hand better in it the other one was just really wide and I wasn't able to just wrap my finger or wrap my hand around it. So I like this one a lot better uh, just because I feel like I can get more control again. Uh, but I was, I didn't have anything crazy that I wanted on this gun. I just wanted to have an AR-15. This is my first AR-15. Um, and as I'm still going and learning about guns, it's just good to have the basics. And it was interesting watching it get put together because then I'm learning about what these parts do and kind of just how it functions. So I think it's just a good thing to know. Um, so then you have more control of your gun and yeah, then you are able to be able to take it apart when you want to go ahead and have upgrades. Um, and then definitely this is something that I want to upgrade is the eyesight. 